all right welcome back less than a week after the seriki fulani of igagan salio abdukadre and many others left igagan in ibarapad zone of oyo state Secretary of the Farmers Association in Ibarapa land, Mr. Taiwo Adeagbo, has raised the alarm that the Fulani have been returning to the town. Noting that virtually all the Fulani left upon the intervention of Sunday Adeyamo, popularly called Sunday Igboho, Adeagbo said with the continued entry of the Esmen residents of Iganga are once again living in fear. He noted that the return of the Fulani was signaled on Sunday when hours before Governor Shei Makinde visited the town. Two residents of Iganga were struck with matches at about 1 a.m. Adeagbo said the governor upon his visit was made to see the two injured persons and he ordered that they be taken to the University College Hospital, UCH Ibadan, for treatment. He also questioned if the 200 Amotekun officers that the governor directed to be, de to be redeployed to save Ibarapa land had not been mobilized to all the areas of the zones. The Fulani left when the Seriki Fulani was evicted, but they are sneaking in once again. They all left then. Poverty may be one of the things that made our people sell out and allow the Fulani in. They are now allying the Fulani back. We know the people themselves have to save the land, and Amotekun are yet to be mobilized to the prob problem spots adeagbo has said all right speaking further adeagbo decried that residents of kajola in hayete also lived in fear with one man named with Elt becoming a territorial warlord he noted that the said fulani man with guns had chased farmers and residents about 15 kilometers away from his settlement the man was said have the man who was said had gone all out against the resident of Kajola when they attempted to evict him like it was done to the Seriki Fulani of Igagan land. Also speaking with the Nigerian Tribune, Convener Igagan Development Advocate Deran Oladokun decried that the entry and exit point into Igagan remained Poros. He questioned that the strategy for security of people of the zone was still not visible. He noted that fear of the people of Igaga was rising again, going by little visibility of security patrols vans. Few Amotekun officers seen patrolling farm areas and recent attack on two residents of Asunura near Igaga. He also expressed bafflement at the infantry of one is killed Wakil, a full animal, to open fire on residents of Kajola who asked him to leave the town. If you are traveling to Igangan from Ibadan, you will not encounter any real Amotekun checkpoint. You encounter a police checkpoint from Erua to Igbora. The 200 Amotekun officers have been deployed, but it seems that they have not been mobilized. They are only seen at the local government secretariat, Ayete, speaking with the Nigerian Tribune. Commandant or your state secretary network agency, Amotekun, Olayenka, Olayanju, said the strikes of the additional 200 Amotekun officers who had been deployed to Ibarapa land would soon become visible. He cautioned against pressure from residents of the area on its operations, nothing that such military-like operation in the zone required strategic planning. It is not the people in the village that will tell us how to move. This is a military movement and we need to plan our movement. They have already deployed in Igangam, Takwa, Ayete, Igbora. 
we will not tell them exactly what we are doing and how we are going about our business. The end result will justify what we are doing, they said. Meanwhile, leaders from Igogon have denied insinuations that the youth walked out on Governor Mackinde when he held a town hall meeting in the area. General Secretary of the Ibarapa Land Farmers Association, Mr. Taiwo Adiagbo, who spoke on behalf of the community, stated that no one walked out on the governor. He maintained that the people of the area wanted solutions to the security challenges and were appreciative of the fact that the governor and his delegation came to Igangan to address the situation. He added that the youth only expressed their grievance when the member representing Ibarapa Central slash Ibarapa North State constituency, Honorable Peter Gbade Geshin Ojedokun, was addressing the gathering, adding that when he, Adiagbu, and others appealed to them, they became calm. According to Adiagbo, there was never a point when the youth walked out on the governor saying that any news media that published such a story is guilty of fake news. Truly, the situation had really gotten out of hand before Governor Mackinde got into office. But the only thing we want now is a solution. So, when, so went to Oshubo and Ibadan as well. And there are different write-ups there. Some of them are with lawyers in Ibadan. During the last administration, they called us for a meeting in Ibadan. And I went with 14 people that were stabbed with machete, but the government did not give them a dime. I took them to the Ministry of Agriculture then. All of us did not sleep because we knew the governor was coming here. I sent the list of all those that were killed, inflicted with machete wounds and injured. When he came, he discussed the things that have been happening even before now. And our people became happy when I told them that the delegation that came all the way from Ibadan to address our challenges should not be welcomed with unnecessary chaos. We are the ones who need something from them, not vice versa. But Governor Mackinde has come here and he has said that the family of the people who lost their lives and other people will be compensated. We told the delegation that we know where the hoodlums always hide. There is an uncompleted building which is about 75 bedrooms. That is where kidnappers, terrorists sleep and live and the governor has said that they will do something about it all right and then so where did they see the group of youths that walked out on the governor when he came he told us that the local government chairman did not do well by not informing him of the situation promptly the governor made us know that he did not get the report of what has been happening here all right and then that has been said so far on this what added according to what is being said he said full learning have been returning and uh, the people of igaga are scared hmm. and they are living in fear again and then there's been a lot of reactions onto this one a lot of people have said that my people, you people should wake up. Don't wait for any government to do something for you. Tell your people to buy guns. Fulani carries guns. Wait for nobody. All right. And then it has been said that you better mobilize your youth and defend yourselves. State out. Federal government can't defend you. Mm -hmm. Sunday, we will have tried. You better defend yourselves now or let your generation be full and slaves forever. Don't be a coward. Well, a lot have been said so far on.